Yeah, I think there's a whole there's a there's a whole lot of mixed emotions that go through in when you're preparing for the Olympics. Um, but yeah, I guess essentially everyone, when it comes around to this year, you feel a little bit of excitement and and there's a whole um, there's a whole range of emotions that people go through during the year. But there's so much excitement, there's so much opportunity there for everybody. Yeah. Um, you're all just chasing the the same goal amongst the team, and you sort of get that real momentum and training has been fantastic and the preparation's been really good so far. There's a really good feeling within the group. Um, yeah, and I guess what I was saying is that our best is good enough. We know that if we go to the Olympics and um, perform, you know, to our ability that we're, we're a great chance to, you know, do well and, and win the Olympics. Like to be able to say that is pretty special, I think. Like our best is good enough. Yeah. So to go in knowing that, um, you know, people might say it puts ex- uh, a lot of expectations or pressure on you, but it's the reality is we know that we're a good team and we'd have to go there and perform, which is difficult because there's other good teams as well and there's other factors. But uh, to have that knowledge and the belief in the team that we're good enough, I think is, yeah, so is a huge part of being successful. Yeah, that is awesome. Um, you know, Jamie, Jamie Dwyer has been a part of this um, series as well. And I remember asking him perhaps naively, um, why the Olympic gold medal has been so elusive for the Kookaburras. Um, and put simply, he just said, they're not easy to win. <laughs> Things have to go right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, definitely there's like, it's a, I think it's a really difficult competition in, in the hockey. Like there's a lot of teams that can win and, yeah. and that's what makes it really great. I think the, the world hockey is in a, you know, really strong position at the moment and, and, you know, away from the Olympics, but as, as a sport in hockey, we need that. We need to have the interest across the whole world. It's a truly global yeah. game and um, any region, any country could could have a team to win the gold medal. So, yeah, like Jamie said, it is difficult. You have to go and be at your absolute best. And now we have quarterfinals, semifinals, final. Yeah. You know you're going to come up against a really good team, you know, across those games at yeah. least if you make it that far. So, you prepare yourself to be at your very best when you need to against a, a great opposition. You have to be good enough to go and beat them. And that's the great thing about sport. You get that opportunity. You've got to go show how good you are and, and play your best when you need to. And I think that's the exciting thing that we have. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, look, something that uh, is, is very evident about you, and I, I, I've noticed it from the second I met you, but I've been told as well, you are very grounded. You don't get ahead of yourself and you don't take things for granted. So I will say... Again, at the time of recording, we haven't officially had selection. That's uh, you know coming up very shortly. How are you feeling about selection for the Olympic Games? Yeah, I think that's sort of one of the emotions I was um, touching on earlier. It's a difficult, it's a difficult time for everyone. We have a squad of twenty-seven, and there's a couple of um, extra guys that probably in consideration as well, sort of outside our squad that train with us, and that gets um, brought down to sixteen that go to the Olympics. Oh. So it's a, it's, and, and, you know, the depth in our squad is fantastic. So it's yeah. a difficult time and really, really good players don't go. Um, so you have to be fit at the right time. You have to be performing well. I think, um, you have to, you know, have the ability that your best is, is really going to help the team. And they're the sort of things that you have to show during the year or also during the last few years, but yeah. it gets, it gets difficult and the pressure's on a little bit around selection. It's tough for the team. It's tough for the selectors, but I think, you know, you have to have confidence in yourself. If you asked everyone in the team, um, to, to, I guess, pick their team, you'd want them to pick themselves in the team. So yeah. of course I have confidence in my ability and I think that I can help the team. So um, yeah, in the preparation, I have to perform and, and show that, that I'm an asset and that I can help the team and, and hopefully everyone else is doing that as well. Yeah, no, for sure. It's a, it's a really interesting insight, to be honest, especially for <laughs> somebody who's a proven player, but for you to still have that, that, um, that mindset. Yeah. I think yeah. It's I awesome. mean, it's difficult. You uh, obviously, every, no one wants to sort of <laughs> go out and say that they're going to make the team. Correct. But you want them to think that, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, you need to have that confidence in yourself. Who, who else is going to believe in you? You know, if it's not if it's not you, you may as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think every, I think sometimes it's sort of that emotion that you go through if you have a bad game or a few ga- bad games. It can it can start you can start thinking about it too much, and they're the things that you can't control, and you don't want to have them in there. But I think it it can creep in during the year. And, And yeah, that's normal. That was just a little teaser of our full episode. They're out Wednesdays on YouTube and you can listen to them wherever you get your podcast. Go on, get out of here.